Now look what you did. Good morning, guys. It is, it feels much, uh, it feels earlier than it is, but it's actually 8.30. It's because there's a storm out there, so it feels dark in here. But, um, it's 8.30, we don't have any of the stuff ready for the kids. They're not dressed. Um, I don't have any lunches packed. So mom's getting them dressed while I'm trying to pack them some lunches so they can get out of here and go to school. They need to be leaving here in like 15 minutes. So, probably not gonna happen. Good rainy day. It is Thursday, and we are going on a date, a daytime date. We dropped the kids off at preschool. Thursdays and Tuesdays are the best days ever because all three of our big kids are at school from yeah, nine yeah. until one. We just got a cutie. So we just have this cutie. Oh, <laughs> are you hiding? Hi, hey, cutie. We just got this cutie who was sleeping, and now she's awake. Oh, no. She's going to be a little grumpy, um, but we're going to Panera. Because Yummy. we like this place and it's good breakfast and it's a nice place to have a little date. So, look, John's so excited. Is somebody pee in here? Hopefully. It smells like Oh, did you really? <laughs> look at, but John, look at all this. We're here at Panera with the. Our littlest buddy. And I wanted pancakes, french toast, or something, but I didn't get it. I should have said something. I, should, I said Panera was good, but I should have said it wasn't. It's all good, though. I bring you glad tidings of great joy. Glad tidings? I don't know. Good tidings? Of good tidings of great joy. I always mess up. I bring you glad tidings of good joy. Good joy. Good tidings of what? You said I bring you glad tidings of good joy. And what is it? Good tidings. Great tidings. Great tidings, great tidings I, of good joy. No, good tidings. Good tidings. Good tidings to you. Good tidings, good tidings of great joy. Of great joy. Glad tidings. Glad tidings of great joy. Happy tidings to you. All right, it's raining. We gotta go. Get in the car. Get in the car. That was fine. I do wish I had had uh, pancakes or French toast or. Waffle, something like that. You know, sugar filled things that I shouldn't be eating. Yeah, except you had a big cheese Danish or whatever. That yeah, was. that was good, dog. That wasn't sugar filled enough. It was. It was and delicious. And a glass of orange juice. Yeah, but I want coffee. I don't like their coffee because the only. I like flavor in my oh, coffee. Buddy. And all they have is caramel. I mean, I like caramel, but I don't like their. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. We'll get you a snack. I like caramel, but I don't like the uh, like caramel coffee syrups and stuff, they just don't taste very good. Well, you wanted a sugary filled breakfast, but their coffee's too sweet for you. It gives me headaches, so yeah, that is too <laughs> sweet for me. So guys, I know we've been talking about this parody video, and I'm sorry it's not out yet. I said it was gonna be this week, but it's uh, I wasn't gonna say that, but. It's my fault, I haven't edited it. Danielle wants to edit it, and so I'm waiting on her to do it. And I have a lot of other things to work on, so I'm like, yes, please edit it. And it just hasn't happened yet, so it's gonna happen very soon, right? I don't even know if I can trust that. So, anyway, so we're gonna get that up for you very soon. Um, uh, my goal is to have it up by the beginning of next week. And when I say my goal is, I mean it's gonna happen. That if Danielle doesn't do it, I'm gonna do it. It's just. I hope happen. you guys like it because. I feel like it was so last minute. Like we heard that there was some this great opportunity of a location for us to shoot it, and so we wanted to like take advantage of that really quickly. But because of that, it was like we have one day to get this thing together. Like we literally recorded the audio the night before, so like I hope it, it was put out. together pretty quickly. But I think it I think it turned out okay. I'm just nervous. I guess I'm nervous that usually we prep a lot. Well, I'm always nervous. Anytime I. Anytime I we do a video, I'm like that's terrible, and then it ends up being pretty good. So I'm like, oh, okay, it turned out okay. Well, we'll see. I think that's why I'm like hesitant to just do it. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Just do it. That's our guy. All right. Anyway, so we'll get it done, and um, hopefully you'll like it. They'll love it. Of course they'll love it. You'll love it. Bundled up, ready to go.
Ready to get your sisters? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, you're so happy, always. So I just woke Adeline up. Can't believe it's already time to go get the sisters from school, but it is. That four hours goes by really, really fast. I was going to clean up upstairs, and I started to, but you see, Elena got Tyler's Legos out, and they were everywhere. Um, she had like this Ariel with Little Mermaid Lego set, and they deconstructed the whole thing. So all the teeny little pieces, and it has so many little, like single one little, like flowers and stuff. so many, they're everywhere. So I was picking those up and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna put this thing back together the way it's supposed to go. So um, I decided to put that back together. So that took a little while because it's like two whole like booklets of steps. And hopefully Tyler will be happy. I also picked it up. Elena's not allowed to play with it anymore until she learns how to not pull every stinking piece apart and how to not leave them all over the floor. Um, she's not gonna be allowed to play with him anymore. We, now, that took up probably like 40 minutes of my time. And then I was cleaning up some other rooms. I need to go through their clothes. I told you guys I was minimalizing. I haven't gotten to the clothes yet. The clothes are a little overwhelming. Or I'm like, oh, they can, you know, wear these clothes. They can all wear them, blah, blah, blah. Like they'll grow into it. Good to save it, good to save it. It stresses me out because then I have clothes everywhere. Then I have more laundry than I can keep up with. Then I have piles and piles and piles of stuff because I don't have to wash it because there's always just something else I can wear instead of having it so like I have to do laundry like twice a week or they won't have anything to wear. Then it's like, think about how much smaller these laundry piles would be if I'm doing it regularly and they're just wearing the same clothes. Maybe even some of the nicer outfits I can just put away. I don't know, whatever. The point is, I gotta get rid of stuff. It's hard to do, it's hard to do. Anybody who's like, oh, we minimalized and it was awesome and easy. Like, I have no doubt that it's awesome on the other side of the fence, but I do believe that it's very hard. Why are we so attached to stuff as Americans? It's kind of sad. Yeah, I'm going to do it though. I'm on a mission, like, I really, really, really am set on getting rid of things. It needs to happen. It'll make me happier, it'll make the kids happier. It'll give me more time to vlog and to hang out with them without constantly feeling like I can't keep up with things, so. Continue to pray for me. And if you guys minimalize, like if you've done that, if you live minimalistically or how, whatever they call it, like comment below some of your tips. And I've watched a few other people's YouTube videos on it, so I get the gist of it. I don't have time to read a book. That's just not my thing. So if you have any quick tips on how to minimalize or how to prioritize what you do keep, let me know. I'd love to know. I'd love to know if this is a journey you guys are going on. And I'm gonna have to show you some more befores and after because I think you'll see it's like a drastic difference. I'll just show you what's in our garage that I'm getting rid of and then imagine that stuff being in our house and you'll be like, whoa. We have so many toys. That was the easiest thing to get rid of and I'm still doing it, like even that's hard. So I've gone through probably three times and gotten rid of toys and each time I get rid of a little bit more, like I'm less and less attached. The first time it was very hard and so I just got rid of certain things and then the next time I got rid of a little more so now I feel like I will continuously go through probably several times a year and just cycle out broken or old toys and then bring in new ones, especially as they have birthdays or Christmas. I told John like for Christmas, whatever they can get, you know, a toy, like if we, and then we can get rid of something. Like basically we don't need to keep everything or buy things that last forever because they're always having more come in and right now they're just not old enough to like really take care of their stuff or keep it so you know when things get broken let's like get rid of them and then if it's something they really love playing with it can go on a list for a birthday or Christmas because we have family members and friends that buy gifts for our kids too and it's not just us it's just always stuff coming in so it's gonna feel good to get rid of stuff they have done several studies lately that say the amount of clutter in a woman's home adds to her stress level I believe it 
We have Elena and Tyler and Jude. Yeah, I can see you. Did you guys have a good day at school? Good. Elena is always a little grumpy after school. But we love her. Tyler's wiggling her booty. Hey, Judy, what you doing back there? Yeah, you ready to go in and take a nap? Yep, now it's nap time. Look at me. Look at me. Be sweet girl. It's Wiggle in my time. booty. You ready? Alright, so I need them to take a nap so I can finish what I started. I didn't get very far. Our kids waste the most food ever. Well, Danielle made them chicken nuggets for dinner tonight. And they have hardly eaten any of them. Tyler's eaten some of hers. But Elena literally has every single one of her nuggets. There's all of her nuggets, five of them. I don't know why she made them five, but she did. Jude had four, and here's what Jude has left. Three and three quarters. Tyler's eaten three of hers. And mashed potatoes. And Adeline, she eats all her food. I have to give you some nuggets, dude. What a mess you are. She got a little macaroni pasta stuff. She loves it, it's nummy. You gonna eat your nuggets? You gonna eat your nuggets? Yeah, I didn't think so. Jude's just gonna eat the ketchup. All right, I'm ready for these kids to go to bed. What time is it? 6.20? I give them another 10 minutes and then they're going to bed and I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna work on vlog and then work on weddings and then work on some free time because I don't have any. I gotta find it. I gotta figure out how to get to the free time. I need the free time. It's always work and then home with the kids, which is okay, but I still want to go out and do some stuff every once in a while. Like these past two weekends, I've been busy with the weddings and stuff, but it was really nice and refreshing to have that time here, bud. Like hanging out with Jason and whatnot, just to like spend time with somebody and not my family, and not spend time with somebody and my family, but spending time just with somebody else or with other people. Um, so I think everybody needs that, you know. Moms need it. The dads need it too, guys. So make sure you and your husband are getting out and away from each other some, at times. Just go hang out with your friends, do whatever, refresh, recharge. Re Adeline. Adeline is a messy mess. Hey, everybody. My name's Adeline. I'm a messy mess. You say, I'm a messy mess. Are you sleepy? I think she's sleepy. I woke her up from her nap because I was like, you are not going to be up all night. You're going to wake up now so that you go to bed later because we're not doing a night of craziness are we because we already got enough crazy with this kid Hi. with the ketchup eater Hi. i don't think she napped very long which is good hopefully she'll sleep tonight she's a nut all right well we're gonna go guys love you guys see you later have a good one Adios. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button to follow along with the Murrays. Subscribe.